Well, welcome everybody. So in today's session on the key report, today I want to focus on is uh, presentation plugins, different ways on presenting data. In order to do that, what I have done is just take a report I've created. It's a very simple report. You can look at it as two charts and just report on the opportunities. So not too many things in sense. So there's a couple of fields, the only thing that's really not the interesting is just the little bit of an explore function we don't need for getting the quarters so if the username sales stage, the opportunity name, the quarter, so we have the, the account and the amount. And if you've got a presentation type, I don't really think it needs to have it. plugins, so I can only get extended. I'm going to say this uh, 20 inches per page, and that's in there. And if we save, we get a very basic standard report, just a regular list. The one we have seen, the one we started, so the charts are, as they are, is a list. And let's see if we find so, so we can measure the list. There are 20 views. The first thing I want to change is uh, the summary. So we want to have the total amount of all opportunities. So I have a question if we have a large one, we have uh, several hundred um, items in there. It's not the circle. How much is it? So you know, we want to change the plugin to standard or summary. Different plugin. And what you can see is okay, there's different options in the plugin. There's a function. You see, we have preset at some point. So Appear automatically, so I do a sum on the amount and the count on the accounts. The one does in this case not make so much sense, but let's do it. So you can choose the functions of course, you can get that as the count, the average, and the max. So if I save that, I get the form. So we report from a chance perspective, but now we have a summary line at the bottom of the view um, that says 39, so I have some records from 5 media, which is not only the sum of the amount that's on this page, it's really the total of all the reports, so if you page, the line is still the same, it's capable of the comments on the the third view we want to look at is uh, grouping. So we can have just a summary on one page and want to group that by different criteria. It's a uh, username. So we see the pipeline per user. So how we can do that is one plugin, which is a group plugin. So we can say okay, group by default and pick, let's say, username. We can also add summary functions. So we put the count out here and say okay. The only thing we have is the total amount, so we make it more fun, we can the average amount, so like this. So what we see here is we get a grouped view, where we have it grouped by the username, all the fields, and for the amount we get the nice thing about this view, you can also change this grouping, for example, say we change the group by cell stage, which is recalculated dynamically. And the other nice thing about it is also if you export from here, it also has an impact on the exporting functions. Okay, for example, you export to Excel. You see, that's the same, so we have a grouping for level, which is our decision maker, we have to run those fields with the amounts and also that's nice, even if we want mix also, exporting is not going to be used, so they are nice and properly formatted, and those are the functions are considered, that's nice, and of course the same if you export to PDF, similar here, um, before we have done it, we have, uh, we have seen just a normal list, now we get broken down by really one block for each of these group and the chance of course in the um, in the career. Um, the good thing about this is it's very flexible. The bad thing about it is um, 
The rendering and grouping and calculation is done differently. I mean, so you really need to load all the data, and it's quite heavy on the browser. So if you're dealing with loads of data, um, that might start breaking the thing because of the resources available on the pieces. So in order to manage that, you have another view, and it is a G view. It's basically navigated and only renders when it needs it. So you can say it's okay, we have a G view. And let's go to the bit of the right. Uh, in the G view, you can say okay, until where you group. So it's okay, I want to group until the opportunity now. And you can also have still again functions that I want to count the accounts. I want to have the, let's change this back to sum on the amount, and the tree will be built according to the sequence we have the fields in here, but we group until the opportunity name is the last. We can go ahead and save that. Let's see how this looks like. So we get what we're expecting. So there's a tree starting at the user level. And you see it here, this is nine accounts, nine opportunities, the total amount of these 35. If I open it up and get the next level, see okay. There's again the sum on each of these level and the count. So there should be two opportunities in the price That's exactly what I see. And of course if I open the other, there's an opportunity here. I think probably zero is good, she has ten opportunities. Right there, it's like there is two of the application. So I think you get the concept. So the benefit of that is the tree is just expanded as you load it. So even if you have potentially a thousand records or two thousand or five thousand, um, you can look to a logic and keep the performance up. So and last but not least, the last few that's was a nice in many cases, and very common for recording is uh, a pivot. Good. So, as I would plug in for a pivot there, I can say, okay, and change from a tree to a pivot grid. It's a bit more complex in the um, handling. So, first of all, we want to define the role should be the cell stage. And then we say, okay, first of all, we take the expected test order. First one and then we take the username and then we will take the amount. We build the sum on the amount and then we will say yes, okay, so then we need to make a couple of adjustments in the actual totals, we adjust the width, we sort the columns instead of and save it. And the class charts do the same, but now we have a nice pure grid, and as you can it's what we wanted, the sales stage. And then we have in the pure data, which is the total for all of the columns, so that's when we select the total. And then, uh, first of all, the quarters, and then each of the users in there, and then for each the values, good, as you expected. So much for different presentation plugins. Um, I think they show clearly what they do in the cards on managing and presenting uh, the same report. We didn't change anything in the report. We didn't change the presentation. It was one thing. But not only have any impact on uh, what you see on the screen, but as we have seen also on the export. Thanks for listening.